This week, I'm excited to share why we need to calculate the total equivalent length of the longest duct run when we're using things like a duct calculator. Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week we're actually gonna get into the details and calculating the longest run when it comes to total equivalent length in your duct system. This is paramount to understand in order to adjust to use the correct friction loss on your duct calculator. If you didn't know, static pressure loss can be accurately expressed in an equivalent length value. And that's because if you had 100 feet of straight duct and you put the right volume of air through that duct, you would have a pressure loss of just one tenth of an inch, 0.1 inches. Now keep in mind, this is not the rule of thumb that a lot of people use on your duct calculator. Equivalent length is the way to adjust static pressure in order to get to friction loss. It's the bottom side of the friction loss equation. The easiest way to understand this is if you're looking at a fitting and it's really hard for the air to make a turn, then you're gonna have a higher equivalent length value or pressure loss. As an example, if you're using almost any duct calculator, the top middle fitting on the back of your duct calculator is going to be a right angle return drop. That right angle return drop, regardless of how tall or long it is, because it's a right angle into the side of the furnace in your return, is gonna be an equivalent length of 65 feet or a pressure loss of 0 0.065. If it was easier for the air to make the turn, you could lower this by 30 or 40 feet by having an internal radius, not a hard 90. Also, equivalent length will go up if your velocity goes down. So if you don't downsize your trunk like you should every three to four runs, when the velocity gets too low, your equivalent length value for that next takeoff will go through the roof. I've seen fitting values as high as 100 feet in that example. So when calculating your total equivalent length of the longest duct run for your friction rate worksheet, it's not a stock list. It's where the air enters the furthest return to where it exits the furthest supply in equivalent length. Sometimes that's the one that's furthest away. Sometimes it's not because the takeoff that's two or three prior may go up an outside wall to the second floor of a colonial. So you have to do the math in order to know which one you're sizing to. And if you can get the air there, you have dampers in all of these other takeoffs and now you can balance the system. When it comes to really small duct systems with low static air handlers, I've seen equivalent length values for the longest run be easily less than 100 feet. And I would say if you're using a low static air handler, you don't wanna be over 100 feet. When it comes to high static or normal air handlers where you're doing typical trunk and branch systems, I've seen equivalent length as high as 350 to 400 feet. So don't get scared when you do this math, just make sure you're able to design around what's there or know that you need to upgrade that duct system with the new air handler when you're replacing it. The number one place to look for high fitting values is as close to the air handler as you can. So the typical plenum starting collar, if that's a bullhead T, you're gonna have some serious restriction and a high equivalent length value. If you're gonna come off that box, that plenum starting collar going into the trunk at a 45 degree angle, so it's really easy for the air to make that turn, you could knock a 120 foot bullhead T fitting all the way down to 10 feet very easily. And maybe now your ductwork isn't too small. Maybe it's gonna be sized right for that smaller system. But you're not gonna know this until you actually walk through the friction rate worksheet. Let me ask you, what's the longest totally equivalent length of your longest duct run you've ever had in your design? I'd love to see it down in the comments below. Don't be scared. I'd love to hear how you fixed it. Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.